What does open source mean? What's the idea behind it? And how does it apply to cryptocurrencies? In one sentence, open source means the recipe of any given work is free and also available for anyone to use. We've covered in other videos the fact that there's some projects like Bitcoin are decentralized by nature. That means there's no marketing lead or sales director, and there is certainly no CEO of Bitcoin. All of Bitcoin and other decentralized projects developments take place in a transparent manner by independent entities and people that just fully commit and believe in the objective. Bitcoin, for example, does not belong to a single company. It has no centralized decision-making authority. Instead, Bitcoin is being developed in a collaborative, public manner. So where did the concept of open source come from? Well, it sounds very different to the traditional company hierarchy that we're used to. Well, the idea of collaboratively developed and freely distributed software gained traction again with the popularization of the internet back in the 90s. The idea behind open source is actually as old as computing itself. A fairly small community of scientists and engineers share their progress and knowledge freely and openly with each other. Unfortunately, with the rise of commercial software during the 1970s and 80s, this aspect lost some of its importance. Still, the idea of developing in collaboration and also freely distributed software gained traction again as the internet rose to success during the 1990s. These developments led to the Open Source Initiative, founded in 1998 as a non-profit organization dedicated to promoting open source software and open source principles. So we have our definition of open source covered, but what are some of the core principles? Well, some core principles include free distribution and public access to an application source code. This means that anyone is allowed to download, modify, and redistribute that software. So what is an open collaboration? Well, the success and prominence of open source movement opened the door for a whole new concept of working together. Open source is one of the reasons why projects which incorporate peer-to-peer -peer production like Wikipedia, TEDx, and also Bitcoin are as successful and popular as they are because there's value in collaboration in certain entities more than market competition. Would TEDx have gathered as many speakers around the world and have over 30 million subscribers on their YouTube channel if they didn't have an open source ethos? Probably not. So while there are usually few hierarchies and only loose ties between different collaborations in open source projects, this kind of work organization enforces goal-driven and usually very pragmatic approaches. Thanks to the fact that anyone is allowed to contribute, open collaboration software projects also attract talented people from all over the world, yielding creativity, innovation and diversity that commercial software cannot. Another initial key difference is that people who contribute to open source software projects usually do this in their spare time, out of interest and passion about the project or topic that they're working on. So let's recap what we've covered in this video. Open source is a goal-driven and highly pragmatic approach to software development. The source code of a specific software is made available to the developers and users to modify as they see fit. So as you can see, open source projects really bring out passion and also the best outcome in a decentralized technology space. The amount of developers around the world that will have contributed to some of the largest projects in the crypto space, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Monero, and Litecoin, is pretty impressive. So do you already have investments in open source cryptocurrencies? Let me know in the product comments. And as always, subscribe to our channel on YouTube and turn on the bell notifications to not miss any more video updates.